Hi and welcome to In The Chair. I'm Imogen Nix, you know me. Uh, today I am joined by the luscious Sassy Lewis, <laughs> the loquacious Susie Love. Hi. And the lovable Kerry Arthur. <laughs> I'm on an L run today. <laughs> So today we're talking to you about synopsis and blurb writing, a favoured topic among authors. <clears throat> what is the difference between a blob, blurb, blob, a blurb <laughs> and a synopsis? Sassy. This is one that pisses me off constantly. We oh, know. Go, oh, sorry, I go off. I see authors doing it all the time. And I love you, you my precious ones. But it's a fucking blurb that goes on the back of your book. <laughs> it's really, really long. It doesn't fit there. I'm sick of hearing it called, I'll read my synopsis. All right, well, I'm not, unless you're submitting it to us as a publisher. No, I'm not going to. Look at the frustration. <laughs> She's rubbing. <laughs> I do. It is one of those ones that does my head in. Okay, so... <laughs> A blurb is around 250 words on the back of your book. Think and little. <laughs> think little. It is your sales pitch to your readers. It's telling you quickly about the book that's going. It's the, it's the hook to get them in to read your book. A synopsis. And, oh, back to a blurb. If you don't fucking edit it, I'm not going to read your book. Because if you can't edit your blurb... Hey, your hey, book hey, is... you're running ahead of the program here. Just settle. You did a double question. <laughs> um, and that's another thing. I see him unedited all the time. And I'm like, I can't read that. It makes sense. <laughs> a synopsis. A synopsis is something that you submit to a publisher. Um, it is a rundown. And it is a rundown of everything that happens in your book. So basically you're thinking one to two paragraphs per chapter of what's happening in the book and in that chapter. No cliffhangers, no, oh, so does they, he get together with her or does she, does he die or whatever. As a publisher, they actually want to know all those. They want to know the step-by-step -step on how this book is going to progress. And one of the days where they you just submit your um, th first three chapters, they... Um, you're going to have to submit your synopsis as well. And some of them won't even ask for the first three chapters. They'll just want the synopsis and the full manuscript. And if they're happy with the synopsis, they'll start reading the manuscript. Um, so that's how that works. Um, can I keep going ahead or do you want to come back to it? Well, we'll come back to the bit about the editor. I want to actually get the Fine. Other... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Somebody <Yeah>. else. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what else is there to say? She said it all. Well, I um, ask your question. <laughs> you have your rent now. Um, <laughs> so, Kerry, I'm actually kicking you off. Yes. I've always, always considered my synopsis as outlines. So I actually write a synopsis after I finish the book and then I just do short paragraphs of each chapter and do, and do my synopsis that way because I suck at them. However, there's a really good synopsis breakdown on Anne Gracie's site she has a short synopsis and a long synopsis and she runs through and she tells you exactly why she's written what she's written and, and what the point of it thing is. So if, you, if you're struggling to write a synopsis, go to Anne Gracie's site because it's a really good breakdown of the synopsis. And you'll find a link down below again. Yes, yes. Okay, um, Susie, when you write a blurb, what are the most important things that you put into it? Um, I think you've got to put in there your hero, your heroine, um, something about the time setting, where, where and when you are, give them a hint, and then leave with some sort of ending that wants them to read more. So people are looking at the rest of the book to think, well, where's the action? Leave them with a question. It's got to build excitement. It has. Yes. Yeah, your blurb's got to build excitement. On the question yes. front, Sassy, this has been a question that, or a discussion we've had many times. A question in your blurb, particularly at the end, will they survive? Thoughts? Yes and no. It really depends on 
the writing of the blurb itself. Um, in the style of book, in romance, we always know it's going to end in a happy ever after or a happy for now. So leaving it on a question is just redundant. Um, I am, I'm not a fan of them. I'm actually, I think I might have one or two blurbs out there that have a question mark in them. Um, but if you can get away with not writing, using them, don't. Um, you're, you're a writer, you're an author. Use that power to get them sucked in to wanting to read more, to wanting to find out what's going to happen and how these characters take their journey. So it's, there's no right or wrong to it. I'm, I do know that there was a lot of chatter early last year that readers in particular are sick of it, are sick of seeing them in blurbs. See, so. now I've got this really cranky editor and the last book I submitted to her and she saw my blurb, she told me off and I had to change it. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Thanks, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, Susie. You don't necessarily actually have to have a specific question with a question mark, but your last sentence should be the same as a question. What should be a hook? It should be the, the thing that, that goes, you know, I've given you this much, but you want to know the rest? You're going to have yeah. to read the book. Read the book. Mm. Now, you don't edit a synopsis, but we all know that you edit a blurb. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes, people. It's the first bit of your writing any reader is actually going to read, apart from your title. So, and if you've got a spelling mistake in that, I'm sorry. Take up another profession. <laughs> I do. If, nice. if you're sending a synopsis to an agent or an editor, yes, you do need an editor very well, extremely well, because if they read the first paragraph and you've got grammatical errors or spelling errors, they're not going to look at the rest. Oh, absolutely. It's a, but it's not got the same rigour, I suppose, as your um, your finalised manuscript, because your finalised manuscript, you're going to have line contents and... Um, line contents, line edits and content edits versus your synopsis while it needs to be grammatically correct and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't need to be perfect. Your yeah. blurb needs to be grammatically perfect. Your synopsis needs to be neat and tidy, but the odd error, and I'm not talking your 2% typo that pretty much every manuscript has got, um, doesn't yet. Yeah doesn't need to be perfect your synopsis it does need to be i wouldn't send it off with a whole heap of errors in there and run on sentence where the publisher's sitting there reading going um i've got a headache now because i couldn't breathe five minutes because there was no full stops <laughs> kerry what would you like to add she said it all there's nothing bad really oh, yeah. <laughs> i'm not talking anymore oh really <laughs> <laughs> You're the editor of the group, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, on that note, I'm going to say thank you for joining us. Uh, as always, please ring our bell, uh, subscribe. Please. It's been a long time. <laughs> uh, share. <laughs> yes, I'm going to ring my bell just then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Move closer, Kerry, and I'll ring your bell for you, sweetheart. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will technically all be living closer very soon. I live in Victoria. How can that be oh, close? I can't help oh. that, sweetheart. <laughs> I was thinking, how is that just to migrate? <laughs> We're going to get her to migrate up north where it's warmer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't like the rain up there. Okay, oh. on that note. Just the odd cyclone, Alan. Subscribe, like, and share so that we hang around and we get to talk a whole heap more. So it's goodbye from me and Bye. It's goodbye from them. Bye. Bye.